All right. Firstly, thank you. And thank you to Roger Cook uh, for his introduction tonight. What a great health minister. Thank you to the people of Western Australia. This is a humbling experience. To every last West Australian who voted to re-elect this WA Labor government, thank you so much. To have the support and faith of so many Western Australians in one of the most important state elections is a, is a, is a great honour. Can I also thank those people who voted Labor for the first time in their lives across Western Australia. Can I also acknowledge West Australians who didn't vote for us? And I promise to work for everyone across Western Australia over these coming four years. Being Premier of this wonderful state that I love is an enormous privilege. You have put your trust in my government and I promise we won't let Western Australia down. We've been through a lot together over the course of the last year. The pandemic has been a difficult time for every West Australian. I've been so fortunate to have Western Australians helping and supporting us every step of the way as we dealt with the crisis and made the dif difficult decisions that needed to be made. For all your efforts across our state to keep our state safe and healthy, healthy thank you so much to every Western Australian. We will now implement our positive plans for the future, bringing back manufacturing, keeping TAFE and training affordable for West Australians, building, building the new Women's and Babies Hospital, building safer regional roads and Metronet, putting West Australian jobs first. Our world-leading financial and economic management will continue. And of course, keeping Western Australia safe and strong. Yeah. To the people of Rockingham, thank you once again for electing me. To, to represent this wonderful community. To my opponent, Zach Kirkup, and to the Liberal Party. Opposition leader is a very, very difficult and sometimes thankless job I know well. Can I thank you for your contribution to the state and to the parliament of Western Australia? And can I also acknowledge all those people who lost their seats today? I know it is a very, very difficult, hard and gut-wrenching experience. We may be political opponents, but our democracy should always be based on decency, civility, respect for one another and acknowledging each other. Thank you to the West Australian Labor Party. <laughs> to my colleagues and to everyone who volunteered to help us get re-elected. To the union movement and union members. <laughs> to branch members, supporters and well-wishers all over Western Australia, thank you. To everyone in the Labor campaign headquarters, led by Tim Picton and Ellie Whitaker. You all know who you are. To Tim and Ellie and everyone in Campaign HQ, I know that you've worked so hard. Thank you so much. To my staff, to my staff, in particular, Guy Houston, Joe Gaines, Daniel Pastorelli, Nadine Roberts and Karina Graham, amongst many. Thank you so much. They're a great group of people and I'm so appreciative of all the effort and work my staff go to every single day. We all know that the party has been through some very difficult times over the years. Today is an endorsement of perseverance, hard work, optimism and never giving in.
Today is also a recognition that we have and must govern for all people in Western Australia. Being part of the mainstream is crucial for success, as is representing all people across the state. That is what this government has done over the last four years and we will continue to do over the next four. The magnitude of what has happened today is not lost on me, but with it comes great responsibility. We will continue to deliver stable, competent, responsible and caring government for all West Australians. I will, be, I will be forever grateful to the people of Western Australia. We are a great people, warm, compassionate, friendly, proud, kind, generous, caring and hardworking. My team put forward a program that was all about you, your jobs, your children and grandchildren, your health, your future. We intend to get on and deliver that program as soon as possible. We've been given a mandate to deliver, and that's what we intend to do. We're a government for all Western Australians, regions and the city, young and old, men and women, workers, small business owners, farmers, tradespeople, people from all walks of life. We will continue to govern for everyone, for all West Australians, no matter where you live. To my family, my amazing wife, Sarah. <laughs> and to my beautiful children, Samuel, Alexander and Amelia. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support and your eternal patience <laughs> and for continually making fun of me <laughs> and giving me a hard time. <laughs> to my wife's parents, Gwen and Neil, thank you so much. I, I, love, I love you all. You've given me more than I can ever repay and I couldn't do this without you. To my parents, Mary and Dennis. <laughs> to my parents, Mary and Dennis, with their famous caravan. <laughs> <laughs> to my brother, Michael, who's here tonight, and my sister-in-law, Diane. <laughs> thank you. Th thank you for making the trip across the Nullarbor again to support us all here tonight. I love you all. The government I lead will only ever govern in the public interests. We will always govern for all West Australians. Tomorrow, we get right back to work, continuing to build a Western Australia that is safe, fair and strong. Thank you all so much. All the very best. <laughs>